check boxes and drop down menus are useful to show progress or have a choice of options for people to select from. In this chapter, we'll begin with check boxes and see how they can be helpful. Check boxes are true or false options. When a box is checked, it's considered true, and when it's unchecked, it's false. Let's take a look at our sample data. It would make sense to have a checkbox in the project completed column so we know whether a student has completed a project. And if they haven't, we leave it unchecked. So let's begin. First, we're going to highlight the range of cells D2 to D12 and then go to insert. Scroll down to checkbox and now the cells in the selected range will have checkboxes in them. Now it's easy to tick off when a student has completed a project. The code for a ticked checkbox is true and for one without is false. Later, when we cover the if statement, you'll be able to use checkboxes in your mathematical formulas. To remove a checkbox, select the cell or cells you want to delete and press the backspace key. It's that simple. Now let's move on to drop down menus. They are super helpful when you want a user to select from a range of fixed options. For example, in our worksheet, we have a column named subject, and here we want to add some predefined values for people to choose from. So again, we're gonna highlight the range and go to insert and select drop down from the menu. Now column E has a range of cells with drop down boxes in them. Notice that the options at the moment are option one and option two, the default values. But we have data validation rules on the right. Here you can enter options and also edit the styling of the checkboxes. Enter the names of the subjects such as science, maths, English, fine arts, and general knowledge. When you've entered all your subjects, you can change the colors on the left hand side. And once you're ready, click done. Now when we click on the drop-downs, they show the subjects and the colours that we selected. This limits the range the user can input, and can save a lot of time on data cleaning. If you'd like to edit the options within your drop-downs, you can highlight the data again, go to Insert, Drop-down, and the data validation rules will appear again. And if you'd like to change the options for an individual cell, you can click on the drop-down and go to Edit. This will apply to just that cell. To remove the drop-downs, all you need to do is highlight the range and press Backspace once, and again, and they're gone. So there we have it. Checkboxes and drop-down menus are super useful tools that are really easy to add and remove. They make data processing a lot easier. Just remember that if you want a user to enter a true false value, use a checkbox. And if you want the user to select from a given set of options, you can use the drop-down menu. In the next lesson, we'll be moving on to find and replace. See you there.